Dad! Dad! Did you check the weather report on Martha's Vineyard? Because is it chilly at night? I don't know what to bring. I... Come up here, please. I've got a lot of options. I got some dresses. I got some, you know, some... You bellowed, Martin? <laughs> I... I don't believe we met. That is Martin of the Mayflower Martins. Perhaps you've heard of us. Vaguely? Vaguely, I'm surprised. See, Granddaddy made a whole pile of money in caviar tins and seaweed futures. And I'm talking real cash. Poor sucker died gagging on it. Why are you looking at me like you never met me before? Are you, uh... You're, you're yeah, gonna I'm... gonna bring that? Yeah, I'm bringing it. Why? Well... Well, it's a touch much. A touch much? A touch much. Oh, contraire. I, I beg to differ. Not where we're going, going okay? Because it so happens the house we're staying at is right next to a country club. Oh. You know what that means? You and me are going to be rubbing elbows all weekend long with people named Winston and Buffy and Muffy. Oh. You know? And everybody knows. Tennis is their game. I didn't know you played. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, you're serious. Oh, no, 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 honey. Yeah. No, no, nobody plays. Nobody plays. So we just sit around and, and watch people, other people play. So oh. Because if you actually played, it would entail really, really nasty things like sweating and running. We just drink bloodies and look fantastic, and God knows I look fantastic. What do you think? I think I'm looking forward to this trip. Not half as much as I am. What were you trying to do, kill yourself? I would make it easier for you, wouldn't I? You had no business driving in your condition. You should have taken my keys away from me. You were drunk, JR. You could have hurt somebody in my car. But I didn't. I hit a tree. So, are uh, you gonna have me arrested? Maybe I should have you locked up. Oh, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Take away my freedom. You've already taken yeah. everything else from me. Well, it would me. give you a chance to sober up. Well, don't act like you give a damn. Not after poisoning my own son against me. AJ doesn't want to talk to you because he's scared of you. The way you get when you've been drinking. I'm his father, damn it. Yes, and he misses his father. Not this nasty, stumbling drunk that he doesn't even recognize. This is all on you, JR. Just you. Hayward was in such bad shape in the hospital, he had help getting out of there. <laughs> That's Hayward, it's possible. But there's nothing illegal about him leaving the hospital, Chief. I told her this would happen. I knew he was gonna pull his balls her in there. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just... Angela is this amazing woman. <laughs> she has lost so much already. I mean... After losing her sight, she, she was so, so, so strong, so brave. She took it like a champ. She was handling it until this idiot Hayward comes along and tells her that he can help her see again. She was so excited about seeing Lucy's face for the first time. Angie's a strong woman, she. She'll be able to deal with whatever happens. Even the fact that she loves this little baby that is not ours. That we lost our baby that she carried for nine months. Lucy's mother is living in the same house with us now. It's only a matter of time before she figures out that this is the baby that she gave up. <sighs> it's all about to just come crashing down all around us. And I can't bear to think what that's going to do to Angela when it does. Let go, you're hurting my arm. I'm not letting you walk away. I said I would stop. I mean it this time. You've said that before. And then you just do it over and over again. I see it in your eyes right now. You want to slap me, don't you? Take your hands off of her and get out of my house. If you don't let her go and leave this instant, I'll have you arrested. You don't understand. No, I understand that men who hit women are worthless cowards. Now get out of here before I call my husband and have you locked up!
He's not letting you go. Is he, Maya? You know what? I'm not going to tell you again. You got me all wrong, Doc. No, you're wrong. I don't have you wrong. I heard what you said, Mookie. I know what's been going on. Yeah, well, people say a lot of things when they get into it. But it's cool. I'll go. I didn't mean to cause you any trouble. I love you. You know that. Get out. Get out! I am so sorry. Never mind that. How are you? Did he hurt you? No, no. Mookie was just upset, okay? I guess I said some things that I shouldn't have said. It was my fault. You have to stop thinking like that. But it was. No, Maya. There is no excuse. Nothing you could have said or done justifies him hitting you. You just don't understand. Okay? He wasn't always like this. You just don't know the whole story, that's all. Then tell me. Hey! Hi! Uh, what, what's going on? I'm, uh, moving out. You... You're moving out. You're moving out. Why? Is it because of me? Or... No. Cool. I know that I, I've, I know that I've been gone a lot lately, and then when I come back, I'm all over you, and then, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you think that you need your space. No, it's, it, it has nothing to do with you. Okay, it's me. You now in this big mess that I've been creating in my life. What mess? I've been really depending on these pain pills for starters. Do you think that maybe uh, you're addicted? Maybe. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, I just know that I can't figure it out here, you know? Not anymore. Okay. All right, so, um, where are you gonna go? Some place where I can clear my head before I throw the rest of my life down the drain. How, how do you how do you know how to play? Because I grew up in a family full of doctors. Yeah. JR is really, really good. I'm just better at telling people what to do. A teacher. Kind of, sort of. One more time. Remember, it's like golf. I'm exhausted already, I gotta tell you. You swing, you don't swat, okay? Oh. And swing. much better. Wait a minute, what happens if I get lucky and I score? You will. This guy. Maya's boyfriend? Yeah, what the hell is he up to? Well, you said Frankie said that he doesn't even know about the baby. You yeah, know, well, who's to say that Maya won't just tell him the truth? And who's to say that he won't pick up a, a, a trail from your squad car where Maya left the baby directly to my house? Oh, come on, Chief. There's no way he figures out that your baby died in childbirth and we substituted for Maya's. He won't go there. Come on. You don't know that. There are so many ways this could, kid could figure it out. I mean, if he does and he comes looking for that kid, I don't want to think about it. My son loves me. Me. You understand? He loves who you were, not this person. Well, that's a bunch of crap. AJ would never stay away from me if you hadn't been filling his head full of lies. I can't talk to you. That's fine. Why don't you two go off and do, uh, whatever you people do? We people. Yeah. I'll tell you something you're not going to do is keep my son away from me. End of discussion. I was worried that this would happen, so uh, I had a judge issue a temporary restraining order. You what? Until you go to rehab and prove to the court that you can be a responsible parent, I have full-time custody of AJ. You do that well. Yeah? Yes. Yes, you do. You're not being grateful. Oh, 
Oh, my God. Oh, I'm sorry. The G word. Uh, Am I ever going to live that down? No, no, just for about 10 or 15 years. <sighs> because what I feel for you is, is much more than gratitude. Oh, who would have thought? Lucky us. first met Mookie in New York, he wasn't like this at all. He was sweet and gentle. He couldn't do enough for me. When did it change? Not long after we moved in together. When I wasn't with him, he would want to know where I was, who I was talking to, especially if it was a guy. And when he didn't get the right answers? He just loves me so much. No, this isn't love. It's controlling someone, being his possession. You don't belong to him, sweetheart. You are a strong young woman with a mind of her own. I don't know about that. Well, I do. Because it took tremendous courage to come here and, and start a new life. Because deep inside, you knew that if you'd stayed, he would just continue to hurt you. I wasn't afraid of anything. I could take anything. But I couldn't let him... Couldn't let him do what? I, I didn't move here from New York for myself. I was worried that Mookie might hurt someone else. Who? Who was he going to hurt? I don't know, I see Maya holding the baby, looking at the baby. At some point, she's going to realize that this is her baby that she is holding. Well, first things first. You have to focus and concentrate on finding Hayward. I can't. Come on, Jay. I can't. This is going to end badly. I can feel it. I need to tell Angela the truth. And I need to tell her now. I can't believe that you would do this to me. We have a court date in a couple of weeks. It's right there in the paperwork. Help you court date. If you can show up and prove that you're getting health and prove that you're getting sober, I have no problem returning to our joint custody what? You arrangement. You don't have a problem? You don't have a problem? Who the hell do you think you are? You're easy, JR. No, you back off. It's none of your damn business. Yeah, it is my business. And if you don't back off, Chief of Police is right over there. JR, you better care about turning this around because if you don't, I will sue for permanent custody. I'll see you in hell first. JR. Come on, Marissa. That's right, go. Both of you get out of my sight. <laughs> <laughs> 